So you will find a PA cath in an ICU or CCU setting. Some reasons for use would be for your patient that may have just had an intra-aortic balloon pump for pulmonary hypertension, pulmonary embolism, or if your patient is in shock or a few examples of why it's used. So you wanna monitor their hemodynamic stability so you can better titrate their vasoactive drips and so forth. So I'm gonna show you some photos of some waveforms of when you know it's in the actual right place. So as the line is introduced through the superior vena cava, it will be in the right atrium. And as we just mentioned on the monitor, you're gonna see a very specific waveform. So the A waves indicates atrial contraction and the V waves indicates the right atrial is filling. As it continues to advance through the tricuspid valve into the right ventricle, you're gonna see a very specific waveform. It's gonna have this like sharp systolic upstroke and a lower diastolic dip. So as it continues to move forward, it's gonna go through the pulmonic valve and then it'll go through into the pulmonary artery. And when it is in the pulmonary artery, you're gonna see on the waveform, it's an actual smoother upstroke, and then you will see this dichrotic notch. So that is um, symbolic of the pulmonic valve closure. So as the balloon for the PA cath is inflated, um, it can't pass any further. The monitor will show this PAOP, like a wedge pressure waveform with two small upright waves. So you'll see the A indicates the left ventricle end diastolic pressure and the V indicates the left atrial filling. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.